us today is Professor Stephen Riley to speak about the current situation of the COVID-19 pandemic and the results of the team's latest report. Thank you for sharing your insights today. You're welcome. Can you give us an update on where the COVID-19 pandemic is at globally and in the UK? Yeah, um, as, of, as of last night, um, the UK has moved into kind of the, the next phase of interventions. So um, I'm sure many people watching this will be aware uh, that the Prime Minister uh, gave a special address to the nation last night and emphasised uh, that we need to, to, as much as possible, stay in our homes um, in order to, to reverse uh, the current epidemic in the UK. Around the world, lots of different countries are at different stages of their epidemic, um, um, from you know, uh, China, where they have uh, reached kind of apparent control, which we'll talk about, I guess, in a second, um, and you know, through to the US, where they're kind of still in the early phases of, of, of really working out um, exactly what their response is going to look like. So your team has released a report describing the relationship between transmission and economic activity in China. Can you explain what the key findings of this report were? Yeah, a few weeks ago, we, we saw on Twitter um, uh, data from a company in New York um, who had a product where they, were, they measured within city journeys across all major cities in China. And, and prior to the, to the pandemic, they've been using that um, for their own kind of investment purposes and, and as a product. Uh, but they started tweeting about it and we contacted them. Um, so we've been working with them and using their data um, and trying to, to kind of match that up with transmission. Interesting. And what were the key findings of your reports? So um, what we found is initially when there were lots of cases um, and then the lockdown happened, there was a really strong correlation between transmission. You could see the movement, you know, when movement was high, transmission was high, and as movement dropped off, the transmission dropped off very markedly. But then after, after not that long a time, especially outside of Hubei, um, that correlation was decreased. And essentially, they people have started making journeys within cities again, getting back to a reasonable proportion of the levels prior to the pandemic. That has started, and we see no increase in transmission at the moment. So there's been a a kind of decoupling, if you like, um, for the transmission and the movement. Can you explain how you used inner city movement as an indicator for economic activity in your work? Uh, yeah, you know, so as I, as I mentioned, we, um, we saw this uh, data from a company called Exante uh, Data in New York, and we'd also been forwarded emails from investment banks, and we knew that they watched this even during non-pandemic times as an indicator of economic activity in different places across China. So it's not the kind of data we would normally use, but we do know that it is, um, it is taken as an indicator. And what it is, it's a measure of the, it's based on mobile phone movement data, and it's a measure of the average number of journeys that people take, or the actual journeys that people are taking within these individual cities each day. So um, we thought it was interesting to look at because it was already being used for exactly that. Can you explain what this means for other countries? So, I mean, in the report, all we're able to observe is what's happened up to now in China. And, and we can't say what will happen next. We don't know for sure that there won't be some kind of resurgence in China. But for places like the UK, where we're going into a period of very stringent interventions, this shows us that another country has done that and then has successfully returned to something more like normal. And we, as I said, we can't be sure what will happen next, but we, we're pretty sure about what has happened and is happening now in China. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us.